Hi guys, welcome to my channel Sushruta. Today our topic is on preparation of acetoacetic ester. Claisen condensation is a method in which the acetoacetic ester is prepared. This answer is important for degree students along with it is even important for the students who are preparing for the competitive exams. The main importance are reagents should be remembered first. Claisen is the name of a scientist who first described about this condensation reaction. So it is named as Claisen condensation reaction. In this reaction, the reactants are taken as two moles of ethyl acetate or ethyl methyl ether. Two moles. See, here two moles of ethyl methyl ether are taken. They, when they both are reacted in the presence of sodium ethoxide, C2H5ONA is also known as sodium ethoxide, it forms a product known as acetoacetic ester. This is the product which we are preparing. Along with it, a mole of ethyl alcohol or ethanol is formed. This is the byproduct of this reaction. Let's see the mechanism of acetoacetic ester preparation mechanism step one in the step one we just see the preparation of reagent that is the sodium ethoxide see when it when a single mole of ethanol reacts with sodium it forms sodium ethoxide and later forms ethoxide ion plus sodium it does not exist for much time as sodium ethoxide because it is highly unstable product it forms sodium ethoxide but it exists in this form for a very little amount of time. It mostly exists as ethoxide ion plus sodium ion. Next in step 2, a single mole of this ethyl acetate or ethyl methyl ether is taken and reacted with the ethoxide ion which was a formed product in step 1. See, this is the alpha carbon, the carbon which is adjacent to the group any functional group is known as alpha carbon next to that carbon is beta carbon so the alpha carbon is more reactive when a hydrogen is removed from the CH3 that is methyl group a negative charge at CH2 minus and a positive charge as H plus so the hydrogen removes as H plus ion and here the negative charge is present and the H plus which is released from this ethyl methyl ether reacts with C2H5O minus and forms a single mole of ethyl alcohol. Next, in the step 3, the formed product of in the step 2 reacts with another mole of ethyl methyl ether. See, this is the formed product in the step 2, and this is another mole of ethyl methyl ether, as I said before. We are taking two moles of ethyl methyl ether where C2H5OH is removed and it combines to form acetoacetic ester. Okay? See, when it reacts with this, here the bond shift occurs towards the oxygen. So, the negative charge is formed on the oxygen and at the place of carbon, a positive charge will be formed simultaneously. And this positive charge reacts with this negative charge and forms a bond here C that is the product formed in the step 3 CH3 bond C bond O minus and OC to H5 along with that this CH2 where the negative charge is present it reacts with the positive charge here and forms a bond CH2 C double bond O OC to H5 this is the intermediate of the Claisen condensation reaction this is the intermediate of the Claisen condensation reaction C and next in the step 4 in the step 4 the formed product in the step 3 is taken and the OC2H5 is cleaved the bond present between the carbon and OC2H5 is cleaved which gives a negative charge to OC2H5O- and a positive charge at the carbon site here this positive and negative combines and forms a double bond, double bonded structure.
and that formed product is acetoacetic ester as we are striving this reaction for this product but the reaction doesn't stops here why because here the formed acetoacetic ester is not a stable it is unstable due to the presence of c2h5o minus it is uh, it may be an impurity which is present in this acetoacetic ester where it is unstable to form a stable product it again undergoes reaction with this c2h5o minus c here and at the active methyl place position a hydrogen is cleaved this is the product of which formed in the fourth step that is acetoacetic ester unstable acetoacetic ester so it removes as h plus and a negative charge develops here this h plus and this c2h5o minus combines to form ethyl alcohol and a negative charge at the alpha carbon as this is the ester group for the adjacent carbon is alpha carbon it is reactive so a h plus is cleaved here and here the negative charge is formed next in the step 6 this is the final step and important step where we can see the product c the main product which is formed in the step 5 is taken and along with that acetic acid sorry i forgot to write here it is acetic acid ch3coooh and when it is cleaved it will be cleaved as ch3coo minus and h plus there is two possibilities of forming the product one is the keto form and the other one is the enol form these are the two possibilities of forming a product first let us see at the negative charge this h plus attaches and forms the keto form of acetoacetic ester c this used to be the negative charge when a h plus comes and attacks here it combinedly forms a bond so ch develop uh, forms into ch2 this is the keto form of acetoacetic ester and next this one this is the enol form actually c when it is reacted with acetic acid first here the double bond bond shift occurs so the o negative charge develops here and this carbon site has positive charge c in the next step as we have seen here negative and a positive charge now when the h plus reacts here at the oxygen position where the negative charge is present it forms oh which means alcohol group is developed and this positive charge along with the negative charge present at ch combines to form a double bond here a double bond is formed so ene double bond means ene plus alcohol group ol combinedly forms enol form of acetoacetic ester see this actually we'll see in the isomerism concept that is the keto enol tautomerism is seen in the isomerism concept and this acetoacetic ester is a clear cut example for keto enol tautomerism but the majority formed product is enol form so it is the major product it will be the most stable even the chemical formula is same but whereas the structure differs that's it The preparation of acetoacetic acid is discussed in this video and the properties and applications of the acetoacetic ester will be discussed in the next video. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel Sushruta. Wait let me give you the notes. Yeah take it down. Take the pictures of the notes. Okay. Bye bye guys. Meet you in the next video.